Okay, morning. Who here likes to read books? Chris, do you read books at home? No. That's the first time you're saying no. People ask me why you always say yes. He's my yes man. You have to say yes. Should you guys buy from BrickMeUpScotty.com? Yes. Do you guys love bricks? Yes. Do you guys love dicks? Yes. There we go. All right. Oh. We didn't need to know that much, man. Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Brick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Ho. You're watching the If you don't like what I'm doing, you can suck my bricks. Yeah, see how fast he is? We're on top today. Yes. All right, today we're looking at Mark again. Trust me, I have a lot of other new brands coming in. I'm just kind of trying to kill my backlog here. This one is pretty new, actually. What you're looking at is from Xmork. They call this Cities Library. It should just be City Library. It says that right on the front. 10211, 2,143 pieces. Yes, you get a brick light, and no, you get no figures on this set. Here is the box. The box sucks. Very easy to damage, so if you're going to order a box, and it's going to be in one piece. It ain't going to be in one piece. And the crazy part is, yes, it's designed by... Chris, can you read this name? Oh, I don't know. What's that? It's the guy who built it. So shout out to the guy who built this because I can't say your name. We can't read it. Oh, he only put the signature. Oh. Names. We need a printed name, right? Name. More, can you please put the printed name on these damage? Or you just don't want people to know that but this might be stolen. In fact, I think there is a Lego Ideas that's something like this. There's got to be something like this on the market or a fricative thing. But anyway, it is authorized, apparently. And then here's the back just to show you. Pretty simple stuff. And yeah. Okay, here's the book. See, I told you, Cities Library. Block module. Build your own world. Straight up, no introduction. It goes right into the build. I have to mention many times, Mork is using Zingbao bricks, so you might not like it. But I had a lot of fun with this. As long as you're having fun, then have fun. And at the back of the book, they actually do tell you where the light sits and how you, or how it should look kind of wired. They're just kind of like laying it here and you just throw the other piece on top. So this is only for reference. They still tell you like, do it yourself. The funny thing is, the set actually looks pretty small, man. Like it's not big, right? It looks like a, it can almost pass as mini brick. Like it almost looks like a lost size set. But, but the size is pretty It's regular good. size. Pretty good. Chris, you like the size, right? Because it's not on a 32 by 32. It's on, oh. it's on, I think it's on a couple of plates. So it is definitely smaller. It's more in line with the pet shop that you did before. Remember the yeah, Lego yeah, pet the shop? Pet shop is Chris built the pet oh. shop, which is like two little minor, mo smaller modulars that go together. Very comfortable to build this. I was like, yo, this is so much fun to put together. It's really solid as well, like, I don't know, it's smoothed out. I like how each book or building is slightly a different design than the other. It looks pretty satisfying, man. Yeah. I know this is Chris's first time seeing this. Nice rainbow look. And there's a door there to the side. And down here, this is where the brick light goes. So you got space there, it's like a little river underneath the bridge. And I like the back too, man. The back almost looks like a front. So cool, windows, doesn't look too plain. The only plain side is this. You like the sound of that? Yeah, we always love that, right? I guess it was intentional to put these Technic pins here. That's more of a design thing. There's no feature or function for this part. But other than that, this thing, if I hold it up just to show you, this thing is rock solid, man. It's not going to go anywhere. It's good, right, Chris? Yes. Yeah. Simple. 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 Yeah, it's refreshing. I like this, man. So far, let's look at the details on this thing. Here's a closer look at the front. I like how the red book has like texture here and it's clean on the green side the front is all paved right here very simple though street lamp a little garden down there and the middle book is a door right there and it says city library it's not city so there you go library opening time all prints there's no stickers on the set and there's even like a little balcony thing up here which we'll see in a bit and if i rotate it here to the side here a closer look. Here's the rainbow side staircase. I do like the variety of different colors and you can easily stand your figures on there. There's a sign right there that says reference room. And on the top is another sign on the door like be quiet, do not make noise. I think we know that now. There's only a couple windows here, nothing up here. 
I like the door though, and the little light above it. Uh, it's pretty simple stuff. I like the lines that break up the color as well. So that was good. Okay, here's the back. I was actually missing one piece on the bench, but I just put that piece in the middle, so it's kind of holding up okay. That's why the only fragile thing is you can't push too hard down on here. And the tile pieces that they're using is from The Simpsons, man. Please, more do some original prints. Just be original. And then over here, you got like two more trash cans, one small, one big. This one can kind of open up like that. There's nothing inside. But anyway, at least you have something there. A more pebbled, tiled walkway there. And a stud to put your character. As we look closer at the second and the third floor, at least they have windows back there. It may be a little bit narrow in each room, but still looks pretty okay to me. Like this. There's a door up there to go to that little balcony area. We'll have to see if there's any staircases on the inside. Then once again, on the side, only a couple windows. But the side little, it pops out a little bit because the rooftop does come off easy. And just a heads up for the, this and this and this and this and anything that looks like a panel that's being slotted in, which is really secure and really good. I wonder if I can just pull one off to show you guys. I kind of want it to come out there. Oh, it's like that, you know? So they're doing this kind of thing and then slotting it in was super fun. And I like how it makes everything look very clean. So now I'm going to pull out two random figures from my collection just to show you. We got this guy, skin color guy, and the OG Lego guy I'll put there. Just to see for scale. It's one guy smelling the flowers and the other guy is going to go inside the library here and go read some books. And on this side, there they are on the staircase. They'll fall off that thing unless you like go like this kind of thing. Make them walk sideways there. Oh, I'm, I'm falling down. Okay, oh. there's a the guy on the top of the stairs and just to show you if there's enough space here. No, there isn't. I think I had to sit him down. Here. There. Okay. Not bad. Here they are in the back. The guy sitting down with this Simpsons newspaper from a discontinued set you can't buy anymore. But I guess Mork felt like it was fine to print them. So there you go. Yeah, I, I actually quite like it. It's not bad. This thing comes apart really nicely. But again, it's very narrow. So we can take this part of the book off like that. You can take this part off like that. You can take the little balcony piece off here as well. Then you can take the second floor off, which should come off pretty easy. Let's see. There we go. Just like that. And then you got the whole set like that. Simple to come off. No issues whatsoever. The bad thing is it's really small. You can get your hands in here, but it's a little bit tight to really appreciate it on camera. So poor Chris has to go like a top down view. But just so you know, it is an entrance into this library. And let's take a closer look on each side. So we come into this door here and immediately there's a shelf with what looks like or supposed to be books. Along the back wall, there are more books. There's actually a broom in the corner there, which is kind of nice. It's in there tight. And the shelf itself, Chris, does that look like books to you? Oh, yes. That's typical. Very typical. My son Tyler goes, those don't look like books at all. <laughs> but we know it's books already. I like this ladder piece here. They put this here, so it's just kind of like rest on there so you can climb up to get your books. There are books scattered on the floor as well. And those are, you know, the shelves are kind of like pre-built into the back, so it's very sturdy. Nothing will fall apart. And then on this side here is the cash or like the book information center. Kind of plain. It kind of looks like a court, man. Like where the judge stands, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Oh, no. yes. So it doesn't, it, I don't know. That part maybe could be a little bit better design and look and on this side of the wall guess what more books more shelves you can always take these ones out they come out pretty easy like that you want more room and there's more like little books scattered along the floor and you got like items on top of each of the shelves it's not like crazy or anything but you recognize that it is like a library type thing uh there's a better look at the computer screen there and a little magazine um, I, I guess those are taken from other sets. I don't know. The Simpsons ones I definitely recognize. Here are the two guys. I put one behind the counter. He does stand there and one by the ladder because there's a stud there that can hold him in so they're not going to fall all over the place, which is good. They fit in there. Here they are standing in the center area by the bookshelf there. There's no studs to hold them in, so that guy's kind of wobbly there. But you can see that there is enough space. You can definitely put more guys in here to fill it up. Uh, whether or not you want to do that is up to you. And over here, that staircase to go up to the second floor is right there. So yay, we have a staircase 
that goes up to the second floor. Okay, here's the door that's from the outside staircase and you come into this room, which is the reading area, I guess, like the quiet area. You can check out all those books. In the back wall there, there are more books. And again, this whole design of how everything kind of pushes in like panels is fantastic. This is obviously very simple to do. And look guys, we got a staircase that goes up to the third floor, Chris. Staircase in the set, all the way up. Yes, makes sense. Yeah, yes. Underneath there is a chair, sofa. But it's cool that if on the bottom, you can actually pull this piece out. Look, oh, it can recline out. Oh, I can't get it. It's too hard. I had to push this tile down, I think. Oh, come out. It's hard to pull out, but the chair at least has a little piece here that can recline or pull out like leg room, leg room for your figures. There's another sign here to go up to the reading room. This is interesting by the staircase, this little piece right here, look, it slides over and there's uh, something in there. I don't know what that is, like a cookie or something, a coin gold piece. It's flipped around, but anyway, having that little feature is kind of cool, but I just don't know what it is. Chris looks confused too, I'm confused. Along the front at the back of the wall, it's just more books and more containers along the top. And on the other side, the green side is a plant and something next to it. Now in the center area, there's all the chairs. So you can put plenty of figures on here. Six guys can sit down. It's all tiled in this room, by the way. This kind of reminds me of some of the Mold King sets, man. Like really simple on the inside. Nothing crazy to talk about. There's a tile there that says trees. That, that's different for a change, right? Is it? Please be original. And then by the door, you got some lanterns there. And that's it, man. That's the second floor for you. So simple, right? Let's see if we can fit the guys down and see what it looks like. There you go. The guys having a nice time, having a drink, reading their books. Chris, what do you think so far when you see this? Like, what's your impression? I think I like the outside look more than the in interior. The interior is like too simple, right? Yeah, just maybe too simple. But the... But you're never going to really play with the inside. And the tiles on the floor, again, those definitely from Simpson, so... Kind of weird. But overall, not too bad. And we come to the last two rooms, which are really small. So the idea is this is what it would look like if it was all together. But this is just the top floor. This is where it gets really super small. So in the middle, we have like a balcony terrace area. You got some flowers, you got a table, you got an umbrella that's closed, which is a cute idea, by the way. It's just cones that looks like an umbrella. I like that, man. And underneath the, the grill pieces, it's just to look like the paper, the pages on the book, which I thought was really clever because it's kind of like that, you know? You come to this side here, the red side, you got the door that goes out into the balcony. Underneath, there's a little latch here. That's how you come up the staircase from the second floor. So if I pull out the second floor here, just to show you really quick, it connects like that. You go up the staircase and then you go up that, yeah, here. And you go up that little hatch that's on the inside. And the good thing about this room is that the rooftop comes off very easily like that. And this is where you come up the staircase. There's a little latch right here, see? Oh, my finger! But Chris, this is so small now. You only have one area to sit down. Yeah, See, it's like so narrow. Usually I would complain about these things, but I think both Chris and I like the outside so much, it doesn't really matter. Like if, if, if but that might bother some of you. But anyway, there's a computer there, keyboard, and a little painting along the wall right there. That looks like Michael Jackson or something. I don't know what that is. I'm not even sure what this thing is, the gray piece. Is that a printer? Oh, yes. I don't know what that is. Not sure I'm not sure either. And a little, the saddest looking plant in the corner there. Before we put the guys in here, let's look at the green room. So what we're looking at now is the green side. The rooftop doesn't come off because it's so thin. This is how they did it like that. Dude, look how small that is, man. It's just a lounge area. Three lounge chairs, a table with a drink on it and a small flower bed there. You can barely see it, it's so dark, but it's very simple. There's nothing on this side. Yeah, oh no, there is. There's more flowers on that side. Couldn't even see that. Anyway, 
this is very a very tight area to get into but you know maybe you guys are getting more disappointed as as we're doing this video to look at each floor so you can stand the guy in there but you have to kind of like scoop him in he'll hit his head along there we try to just straighten him out and then i'll put the other guy on the chair i guess he will slide off that thing because the chair is kind of a little bit of a weird design and then if you were to go like this it'd be this side you can kind of see how they look won't be too bad on the set it's okay it's just really a plain set man on the inside so i put the guy here let's just pretend he's going to go into the second floor but once i flip the camera this way you can see how they look it's a little bit dark but you get the idea so you can probably get like four people in there but very tight back to back so whether or not you like that i don't know all right, so this one goes here, like so. Very easy to put together. Green one here, like that. On top, like that. There we go. So, fast to put together, super sturdy. I don't think anything's gonna really fall apart on this thing. You can see, I'm like, yo. But, it is pretty simple. Well, Pretty short video because it's a pretty small and simple set. I do like the exterior. Chris, you like the outside too, right? You're pretty happy with it. Just the inside is very simple and plain. And just for you guys who really, really want to know, this is actually on a 32. It's 32 by like 20, yeah, 24. That's right. 32 by 24, having this little extra space probably would have been cooler, man. You can make the books a little bit thicker, but at least the design of this is pretty well thought out. The exterior is good enough, man. It looks really cool to put it in a brick city for sure, because it's just like books, but buildings. So you can have your own library. Finally, something at least it's not a coffee shop, right? Something different. This is available now in my store on brickmeupscotty.com. Go buy it. I approve, I think it's totally fine. Or buy it anywhere else you like, which most of you will do anyway. But thank you for those who purchase on our store for your love and support. You guys are amazing. What are we going to work on next, man? There's too many sets to do. Until next time, you guys. Brick me up.